Check one, two, three. Check, check one, two. Check one, two, three. Check, check one, two. Check one, two, three. Check, check one, two. So this is exactly how I record all my podcasts and even my YouTube voiceovers. I go directly into my phone. I use the Meta Recorder app and I use a lightning microphone here. This is the Sennheiser Hand Mic Digital. This mic is a little bit hard to find these days, but this could be any mic. You would just have to adapt it to go into your phone or into your iPad, depending on how you want to record it. I'll go over my full iPhone podcasting process in just a moment. And so all the audio you're listening to right now is coming from this mic in the Meta Recorder app. And now here's how the camera sounds. I'm using a Deity D4 Duo, just a camera mounted mic. I really think doing podcast and voiceover work with your phone is a great way to go. I think it is underutilized quite a bit. It's just a really good, affordable, and high quality way to record audio. If you watch my channel a lot, you know I preach about how good the video quality is and the cinematography from using smartphones today. But of course, when you're shooting video, sound is 50% of all productions. And so getting good sound is imperative. And today using very affordable microphones like from Deity or Rode or the Sennheiser or Shure or Blue Yeti, there are a myriad of microphones to choose from depending on what you're doing. And the coolest part is they will all work with your smartphone. I've been doing this so long, it's second nature to me, but I know a lot of you guys, especially who are just beginning, might have questions. And so that's where my new course comes in. I've created a brand new dedicated course called the Complete Guide to Smartphone Audio Production. That's a mouthful, but basically it's a smartphone audio 101 course. If you've taken any of my other courses, you'll feel right at home with this one, as I take a very pragmatic and straightforward approach on how to use your smartphone to record professional quality sound. So if I was actually recording a podcast, what I would do is come in here first and I would set the level. And this would depend on what mic you're using. Then I would record my podcast. And then once I was finished recording, I would stop. And then in this app, you can airdrop. Most apps you can do this, but so I would airdrop it to my computer. And you could also share it to your iPad or to another app on your iPhone. It just really depends on where you want to do your editing. I personally do my editing on Audition. But if you're staying mobile, you could work in GarageBand or you could work in Ferrite. There are a number of ways you could edit your audio. And by the way, you could also record in those apps too. So you could record your podcast and edit it. And then you want to upload it. And so I use Anchor. So I export an MP3 and I upload that to Anchor. And by the way, Anchor has its own app too. So there are a lot of different ways you can go. And then of course, the last thing is distributing the podcast. As I said, I use Anchor, but you could use a number of services and the nice thing is, of course, it's then syndicated out to wherever you listen to podcasts, Apple, Spotify, Overcast, wherever. I also now put my podcast on YouTube. It's on my second channel. Links to that and the audio only version of the podcast are in the description. Well, as you know, I'm a big believer in using smartphones in video and film production. So whether you're shooting video or audio today, you really can get professional results using a phone. Well, I hope you check out the new course, but either way, you should definitely check out your smartphone and see what kind of audio quality you can get. I think you'll be impressed. Well, thanks for watching, guys. This is Blake Calhoun. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.